Okay, I think I'm live. <laughs> um, I just tried this and it said broadcast failed. So I don't know if it's going to pop out or not. So bear with me. All right, so here we are. It's Thursday. <claps> Time to wake up. The weekend's almost here. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is really easy, really quite basic. I hate to say it, but it's so easy. Uh, it's a it's a gin gimlet. So let's get started. The one thing I don't have is my gin, so I'm gonna go pick out a gin from the old cabinet. And if this doesn't tap out, then we will keep going. All right, so today I'm using the Botanist Island Gin, and I'm sitting down because I'm tired. I was gonna go to ShopRite and pick up some stuff today but I decided against it. So we're just gonna get straight to our cocktail. All right, so we have gin and we have lime. That's a, that's a gin gimlet. You can of course do vodka, but we've done vodka quite a few times. Bef the reason I'm late, besides other reasons is, I was looking up on the website, seeing, hi Denise, um, seeing how many drinks I made because I'm losing track. It's been, I don't know, I think I've been on like 18 or 20 times. So I'm starting to lose track as to what I'm doing. And uh, vodka, hit it about five or six times in, in a couple different drinks mixed too. And then I did gin, tequila, mezcal, champagne, prosecco, rose. Hi, Christy McGorry. Um, what else did I do? Uh, Aperol Negronis, blah, blah, blah. So it's Thirsty Thursday. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Maureen. Okay, so to get our lime ready, this is the kind of drink where you'd wanna use because there's two ingredients and I'll explain a different way of doing it in a minute. But this is the kind of drink that you want good gin and you want fresh limes. And if you don't have either, switch your drink, <laughs> have a gin and tonic, cause then it won't matter. It'll be in a glass of tonic and it won't matter. So you can either roll, okay, this is a wash lime. You can either roll it between your hands or roll it on your table. That will release the juices inside and get it ready. All right, so first things first, we're gonna cut it in half. Now usually you all know I do my lemon squeezy thing, but for this case, I don't even need it because what's going to happen is I like to do it, it's, it's basically a martini, I guess. Two parts gin to one part lime juice. So I'm not even gonna try to get it in the one ounce to two ounces of gin. I'm just gonna put it directly into the glass. Now I have my, my glass that we're going to drink out of being chilled. I'm not gonna put it in the freezer because then I have to run over and get it. So I'm just gonna make it in this drink so you can see how easy it is. I think you can see that. I am simply going to take half a lime I mean, if you want, I could do this and kind of judge. All right, so I haven't even barely began to squeeze it and I've already got a half an ounce. So I'm just gonna squeeze the lime directly into the glass. So easy. Okay, one ounce lime juice. Hello, Kay. Hello, Amy. Hello, Liz. Uh, hi, Chris Hyder. how are you? Okay, and now I'm gonna take two ounces of gin. There you go, two ounces of gin. This is extremely, very simple drink. And then you kind of remember the rule, right? If we're making a cocktail that is basically a short drink, a martini, and Suzanne, you have to get a lemon lime squeezer. Yes, Marianne, I do have a lemon lime squeezer. And I have used it in every single recipe where I've needed grapefruit and lime and lemon. Um, I was just showing people that because this is strictly lime and gin, and a half of lime would probably get you two to four ounces. I didn't even squeeze it completely. I've got enough for another drink in there. I just did it straight in the glass because, for lack of better words, you just... You just don't need, you just don't, it's a fresh lime and I rolled it and you don't need to squeeze it. It's going straight in. So if you want it on the rocks, you can, I won't tell, but technically you should strain it. It's just vodka and gin and it's a gimlet and it's lovely. 
I had my first real gimlet this February. Thank you, Chris. You're the best bartender. <laughs> I had my first official gin gimlet in Miami, and I was like, why haven't I been drinking these all this, all this time? Um, if you want to, I mean, it really calls for a lime or a cucumber. Cucumber would be lovely with a nice gin. Um, I just don't have a cucumber. All right, so cheers, you can see that, it's beautiful. Hi, Heather. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous, okay. So that's probably more lime juice than I should have used if you don't have fresh limes. You could get away with this. If you have better lime juice, this is good. Um, I wouldn't use the stuff in the little green fake plastic lime for a gimlet. So either if you're desperate and you really want a gimlet, use this, but really go for the fresh lime. And it's just two parts lime to one part, I'm sorry, two parts gin, two parts gin to one part lime. The other way to do it, see, I'm drinking so you don't have to. <laughs> not true you have to but I'm going to get the very last drops out of there it's it's happy hour sorry I watched the president for a bit and I was sitting around for a bit if you saw my story today on Facebook um, there was nobody on the beach because I guess everybody thought it was as windy and cold as yesterday but today wasn't windy there was no wind whatsoever and I let my dog off leash for the first time in his life never on the playground never in a dog park, well, in a dog park, in a fence, yes, never in a, a park, never on the street, never on the beach, never anywhere off leash, and I let him because there was nobody, nobody because the seven presidents to Mammoth Beach, to Seabright, to Highlands is closed, and south of Long Branch is closed, so I thought we were safe, and I walked about five feet away from him, I was looking for a sea glass, and I see him jump like he got zapped in his electric fence, and I hear, Ugh. And I ran over and it was, a, it was a seal. It was a beautiful gray and spotted seal. So I quickly grabbed and then I took a little video. So if you wanna see my story on Facebook, the little, the little seal's there. Okay, the other way you can do a gimlet. I digress. <laughs> so the other way you could do a gimlet. Again, take a clean glass, put some ice in there. Now this, you can use simple syrup for. And I thought because my snack has a little lemon in it, I thought I would try, because I don't have regular, just plain old simple syrup, which is one part sugar to one part water boiled down. I don't have any of that, but I had this, so I thought, hmm, might be interesting. So I actually wanted to try it. This is lemon and orange simple syrup. Okay, so we're, we're diverting a little bit from a true uh, gin gimlet. And to this gin gimlet, I'm going to do, once again, I'm going to do, Choo, choo, choo. This is going to be three quarters, not a whole ounce. This is now because we're adding simple syrup, we're gonna lessen the lime and do three quarters of an ounce. And I'm putting it right into my drink. All right, and then I'm gonna do three quarters of this homemade simple syrup I made the other day, lemon and orange. So of course it's not any, it's not, a, it's not a gimlet anymore, but it's just a little take to show you. You could take what we learned here and mix it up. So that was three quarters simple syrup. Again, if you have plain, that would be great. That would, that would keep it lime. I don't, so I'm adding a little orange and lemon. So it's, it's basically a citrus gimlet. It's got the, the lemon and orange um, simple syrup, and it's got three, ounce, three quarter of ounces of fresh lime. And then guess what? We're gonna take two more ounces of gin. And if you haven't experimented with gin, you should. It's, it's lovely. Don't, don't get the old Fleischmann's in the plastic handle. Step it up, get a nice bottle, read them. I mean, I have some blood orange gin, I have this. There's some, like I've said in the past, that go better with um, a gin and tonic than others. This is a island dry gin. We have our London dry gin. All right, and because we're not adding juice, we're just stirring. Stir when there's no juice and just alcohol and shake in the shaker when there's juice that has to be incorporated into the liquor. All right, so I have another little glass that I'm going to dump the ice out of so it's chilled. 
And where's my strainer? I like my strainer. Again, remember if, we, if you don't have a strainer, just put a little, tiny little saucer over it. And I will let you know how this is in a second. And the one thing, just cause I'm a little, I like my cocktails a little fancy. I'm just gonna take, I don't have my peeler, so I can't show you because I will literally, probably cut myself. You know I'm not the most careful thing. But I'm gonna take my orange peel, which I wish I had my twist out, um, and then I could twist it for you. So I'm just gonna do a little lemon peel since we did it with lemon orange simple syrup. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Stu. Okay, that's lovely. It's a cross between a lemon drop and a gimlet. So if you're not ready for all the tartness of a lime, and again, using plain simple syrup would cut that back, but oh, that's even better now that it's set. Ching, ching. Now, I don't even have dinner made, but I'm having two gin drinks in front of me. So I hope Tommy Boy doesn't mind. Dinner's gonna be a little crazy. <laughs> Lord knows what I'll make now. Okay, so now we are gonna make a very simple treat. A lot of times I can get at Restaurant Depot, which is like a Sam's Club for restaurants, um, a lot of times I can get a, um, what am I trying to say? Fresh ricotta. Ricotta, I don't know how the Italians say it. I'm not Italian, I'm a Polak. So fresh ricotta. I don't have fresh ricotta. So I am simply, and I'm gonna take this spoon because I don't see my spoon here. Um, it's just a whipped fresh ricotta. And when I get the fresh ricotta, Janie loves it. We do some lemon olive oil on top of it, cracked pepper, and that's that but I actually went further to try to find, it can't just be ricotta, it has to be more than that. So it is, it is, literally, you put ricotta in a bowl. Oh no, first, wait, sorry, back that up. I knew I was getting ahead of myself. You're gonna take an eighth of a cup of cream cheese. Now this is again, you know me, half a recipe, so it would be a quarter of a cup, and I will put that whole recipe online. I just have regular old cream cheese, and then we're just gonna take a quarter, an eighth of a cup, All right, right in the bowl. All right, now if you had really good quality ricotta, you wouldn't even have to do this. You could just literally put it over a bowl. Beautiful drizzle of good olive oil and you'd be done, but I don't have really good ricotta. I have the chauffeur brand. All right, and now we're gonna whip it for a second. Now it's room temperature. No, it shouldn't take that long. because we're live. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Dave. Double fisting, baby. <laughs> you go with your bad self. That's right, Becky. All right, so we took an eighth of a cup of room temperature cream cheese, and we mix it up. Technically, um, if it was a quarter cup, you'd beat it for like two minutes, but let's face it, we're just doing this for, for you guys, and now we're going to take a cup of ricotta, and we're gonna add that in there. Or until I get sick of listening to it. Oh. Okay, so we took our cup of, we took our eighth of cream cheese room temp and we took our cup of ricotta. It's nice and mixed together. And then, oops, sorry, let me go for one second. I knew I forgot something. Here we are. Now, you are supposed to have one tablespoon of whole milk, and I don't have a tablespoon of whole milk. So I'm gonna put a splash of heavy cream, and I'm gonna put a splash, I'm sorry, not heavy cream, half and half, and a splash of water. Um, as I said last week, if you don't have whole milk, which I don't, you can take a little bit of half and half and mix it with the same amount of water, and boom, you've got milk. All right, so now I'm gonna just whip this up for a second. That's it. All right, that is.
that is seriously, that is it. And I don't even have a plate in front of me. I'm just gonna show you all of this really quick. Bear with me, bear with me. Hi, Lord Caution. How are you guys doing down there? Nice to see you chimed in today. Cheers to you. Hope you're staying safe down in South Carolina. Oh, that's good. Okay. Now we're just gonna, oh, it whipped beautifully. Looks great. All right. And this is just a little snack, because like I said, don't know if we're just having leftovers. I still have some rotisserie chicken and some mashed cauliflower that I made. So maybe we'll just have that. It seems like as this, hi Brian, it seems as this um, Corona goes on. I dropped one, that's all right. It seems as long as this Corona keeps going on, people are getting less hungry and hungry here. Everybody's getting bored with food. So what's happening is some we're now skipping breakfast. It was like a big love fest at the beginning. Oh, who wants bacon and eggs? Who wants this? Who wants that? Everybody's sick of eating. So a lot of times we're skipping breakfast now and going straight to a big lunch. Like I had a big lunch today, so I don't even want, I don't even want dinner. <laughs> it's terrible. So maybe we'll just have some cheese and crackers and a gimlet and call it a night after we watch uh, Schitt's Creek or Homeland. All right, so you have your beautiful ricot whipped. And then you wanna take a nice quality olive oil. This, you don't wanna uh, dumb down like the ricotta because you're gonna taste it right on top. So try to have a nice one. This is a nice lemon extra virgin olive oil. And remember the extra virgin, you don't put on the heat. That's more for your dips and your salad dressings. You don't cook with it, you eat with it. And I have these lovely crackers artisan crackers. I don't know where they're from. They're probably Italian because they make everything delicious. Hi, Regina. Okay, so we take cracked black pepper and you know what happens when I am online talking and I eat the cracked black pepper? <laughs> I start choking and everyone comments, Corona, Corona, and a little bit of salt. Coarse salt would be better. And then you're just going to have your lovely lemon ricotta whipped whipped ricotta with lemon and olive oil. That's as simple as it is. So let's taste it. It's so good that I feel terrible about talking about my cheap ricotta now. Because it is, it is that lovely. I'll even take another bite. Um, definitely use the salt on top. That adds a nice salty, flavor. All right. That's all I've got for you today. Two easy ways. Like I said, use what you have or be a traditionalist and do the lime with the gin. It's better. The longer it sits, it's even better. You want to drink it when it's cold, but of course. So ching ching, enjoy yourself. Happy, happy, thirsty Thursday. And happy hour, I know they've been getting later and later. Um, like I say, full disclosure, but I've been trying to get out and walk because every day they're saying rain, every day they're saying rain, and then it doesn't rain. So I'm like, oh, let me get an hour in before it rains. But tomorrow is definitely a rainy day. So let's meet up tomorrow at, where did you buy the ricotta? I just got the ricotta at a supermarket. It's cheap ricotta. It's not even a name brand. It's the market, supermarkets ricotta. It's ShopRite. Um, but oh, it is whole milk. You definitely want to use, there my camera fell. It's whole milk, definitely use the whole milk. And that's it, whole milk were cut. Great gin, great olive oil, great crackers, and you got a great snack. Happy Thirsty Thursday. Hi, Nicole. I don't know if you were here yesterday, but I gave you a shout out for your birthday. So shout out to Nicole for her 50th. And we'll see you tomorrow for happy hour. Let's do a early happy hour because it's Friday. Let's make it a fun day Friday and we'll, I think I'm gonna make a little, um, a little fun shot for you. You could have it as a cocktail or, or a shot. Uh, it's something the kids like. So tune in tomorrow and we'll blast off for the weekend and have some fun. All right, now I'm getting really corny. <laughs> I'll talk to you tomorrow, bye.